Dear friends, I'm very thrilled and honored to be teaching with Lawrence Freeman, my old and beloved friend for the Bonneville community on what I've called radical regeneration. Very simply, I believe three things. I believe that we are in now an unprecedented evolutionary crisis, and I think you can see this very clearly. I believe that this crisis has two faces. Everything in God's world is paradoxical. On the one hand, a global dark night of interlinked terrifying crises that really do threaten human extinction and the life of nature, and we have to face that. And on the other hand, if we dive into the depths of the Christian mystical tradition and other mystical traditions, we discover that this global dark night is potentially the birth canal of an embodied divine humanity. So we're being asked to hold unbelievable, unprecedented extremes in a vast and increasingly open divine consciousness. That's the first thing I believe. The second thing that I believe is that the birthing force for this radical regeneration is the Christ consciousness, the true Christ consciousness that is an embodied divine consciousness. And what I'm going to do when I have the honor of teaching you all, and I hope that as many of you as can possibly make it, will make it, what I'm going to do is three really important things. I'm going to lay out the path that I've created and understood from my great teacher, Father Bede Griffiths, one of the greatest Christian mystics of the 20th century, and from my exploration of all of the mystical traditions, but especially the Christian mystical tradition, the four part path to truly embodying this transfiguration process that is being offered to us. The second thing I'm going to do is to really plunge into the great mystics of the dark night process, Rumi and St. John of the Cross, who are deeply aligned, so as to show you how this crisis that we're in globally follows all of the patterns of the classical dark night and could result in the same amazing revelation of embodied divine humanity. And the third thing that I'm going to do is to draw on Jesus's own teachings in the Gospel of Thomas, in which he actually, in the 22nd Logion, which is my favorite thing he ever said in any of the Gospels, and which I'm going to unpack in detail for you, because it is a revelation in itself. Through the teachings of Jesus, I'm going to show you that for me, and I think for many Christian mystics, the real meaning of Jesus's message is precisely this great evolutionary shift that we are living, this shift into transfigured humanity. And I'm going to draw on Logion 22 and the other teachings in the Gospel of Thomas and also on the great secret transfiguration mystics some from the Russian Orthodox Church, but especially the one that I love the most, whom I've just finished translating, Angelus Silesius. And just for beauty's sake, I want to plunge also into the practices which I'll share with you that I myself have been using, inspired by Bede and by these mystics, to speed up that process in myself and in all those that I teach. So let's do this great work together. And I so look forward to be able to share with you the secrets that my great teacher and the great traditions have given me, the secrets that I have experienced in my own life. Thank you so much.